Hello everyone and welcome back to the Salesforce Pardot series. Today we are at day four and we'll be learning about data sync and field mapping in Pardot. A quick introduction about myself. My name is Lakhan Megani. I'm working as a Salesforce developer at Aria Technologies. I am proud Salesforce marketing champion. I am Forex Salesforce certified, including Pardot specialist. I love to spend my time on Trailblazer Answer Community and I'm the community speaker as well. Below are my Twitter and LinkedIn handles. Feel free to connect me over Twitter and LinkedIn. Agenda of today's session is create and map field in Pardot, data sync between CRM and Pardot. So let's start with create and map field in Pardot. So Pardot deals with the details of lead and contact object of CRM in terms of prospect object in Pardot. So whatever records or data we have in lead and contact object in CRM is going to be stored in the prospect object of Pardot. Now let's talk about the field mapping between CRM and Pardot. So as we discuss, leads and contacts are mapped with the prospect object fields with Pardot. So we have standard fields on lead, which is nothing but first name, last name, email, company, score, and other fields. Similarly, on contacts, we have other fields, first name, last name, email, score, company, etc. These fields are mapped one on one with the prospect object fields, which are nothing but prospect first name, last name, email, score, company, etc. We can define the sync behavior or sync preference either for the, from the Salesforce site or from the Pardot site. And the data from CRM can be synced to Pardot, and data from Pardot can be also synced to the CRM in lead or contact object. Similarly, this is all about the standard fields and we can map the custom fields of lead and contact object with the prospect custom fields. So let's jump on to the demo and see how we can create and map our dot field. So I have logged in into the par dot instance. So let's go and see the one configuration that we have in Pardot. So I will quickly go to the Pardot settings from the app launcher. And I will expand this object and field configuration and we'll click on object sync setting. So you can see this option here and you have to click on go to Salesforce setup. And here we have to make sure this setting is turned on, which is nothing but enhance syncing on custom prospect fields. So this defines the fields from leads and contacts can be synced to the Pardot. And there is also a sync now button, which syncs the all metadata from Salesforce to Pardot. Now let's have a look into the Salesforce standard field mapping between Pardot. So you can simply go to the prospect fields here. And here you can see the default fields. So these are the default fields of prospect object in Pardot. And these are the all uh, standard fields with which it is mapped. So if I search for, let's assume first name. So here you can see first name field of prospect object is mapped with the first name field of CRM, which is nothing but first name field of lead and contact object. Similarly, if I search for company field, so this company field is mapped with the lead and contact object company field. Now let's talk about how we can map the custom fields in case if we have to create it on lead or contact object. So I will simply go to the object manager and we'll create one field on lead object. So I am at, at lead object and let me look for the existing custom field. 
So lead stage is the existing custom field. And you can see it's soft type pick list. And we have two options here in the pick list, which is nothing but qualified and lead nurture. So let's see how we can map this custom field with the prospect field. So I will go to the prospect field here again in the similar screen. And there is an option add custom field. So I will click on add custom field. And I will give the same name or you can give different name as well. So I will give lead type here. And there you can see the option salesforce.com field name. So here we have to select the field of either lead or contact wherever you create it. So I have created field on lead. So here we have to select the lead type field which we created with CRM. And it's soft data type drop down, which is nothing but pick list in CRM. And here you can see the same values of pick list field qualified and need nurturing on here also in CRM we have qualified and need nurturing and we can simply click on create field and as we also discussed in this slide we can select the sync behavior as well if pardot and salesforce values differ then data sync should occur with respect to the salesforce field value with respect to the pardot field value or with respect to the most recent updated value. So we will keep this as a use Salesforce value. And we can simply create on create custom field. So now this field is mapped with the CRM field and it is giving option to the sync prospect. So as of for now in the existing database, we have six records. And if we click on sync prospects, then the data in that lead type field will be synced to the par dot. So we can click on sync prospects. That's not an issue. And maybe after some time in the existing database, the data of lead type field will be updated automatically. Now let's test the same if it is working or not. So we have created lead type field and par dot as well and we already have it in the crm at lead level now what we will do we will create one prospect record in par dot and we will see whether data of lead type field is syncing to crm or not so i will click on the prospect tab here and we'll cl simply click on add prospects and i will give here my name and I will use email as lakhan at the rate apexars.com. And I will put company name as apexars. And everything in Pardot is linked and connected with the campaign. So we have to select the default campaign as it is. And we can select the profile, which is nothing but default. And assigned to is nothing but user to whomsoever we want to assign this record and we are as of now assigning it to my user so here note one note we can sync the data from pardot to salesforce only and only if we assign prospect to some user if we do not assign the prospect to user then we cannot sync the data from pardot to crm so i will assign this record or this prospect to my user. And here you can see the section of custom field. And this is the field that which we created lead type. And since it's a pick list field, so we have two option. And as of now, I'm selecting it as a lead nurturing, need nurturing. And I will simply click on create prospect. So this is my prospect and here you can see we have put the custom field lead type is equal to need nurturing and right to the prospect name here I can see the Salesforce logo view in CRM if I click on that view in CRM so lead record gets created in the CRM. 
and here you can see this is the custom field which is nothing but lead type and it is populated as a lead nurturing it means data of custom field and even standard fields here you can see name email company is syncing as expected on a lead object in salesforce so this is how we can create and map custom fields with the crm and data will be synced to the respective object wherever you created the field either on lead and contact object let's jump on to the next point So next point is data sync between Salesforce and Pardot. So now we created the prospect in Pardot and it is created as a lead in CRM. So there is a defined flow which Pardot follow in order to create either lead or map it with the existing lead, existing contact in order to avoid the duplicate creation or duplicate record sync in between CRM and Pardot. So let's understand this flow of data sync. So whenever record is coming to the Pardot, before going to the Salesforce, it follows the following algorithm in order to sync it with the appropriate record. So first it check, does a contact record have same email address? So Pardot syncing, occurs on the basis of the email id so first of all it checks if there is existing contact having a same email address if yes then it will sync with that existing records which is present in the crm if there is no record no contact record available in crm with the same email address then it will look for the lead record having same email address. Now, if there is existing lead available with the same email ID, then it will sync that record with the existing lead. If it is not, then it will create a new lead or it will create a new prospect uh, in the Pardot and then it will go to the Salesforce and Pardot automatically creates the lead in Salesforce. So this is how the entire flow of data sync works in the backend. So let's jump onto the Pardot.org and let's see how this flow works actually. So let's create one contact record in order to understand the first stage of the diagram, which we just saw in the PPT. So I will go to the contacts. I will create one record and give the name as test contact one. And for the account, I already have one account with the name FXR. So I will use that. And here I'm giving the email test contact one at the rate apexars.com so now this is the existing contact that we already have available in the crm so now what we will do we'll go to the par dot again and we will simply create prospect so now as we discuss Pardot check the existing prospects in CRM based on email ID. So we have to make sure we are putting the exact email ID just for the testing purpose. And I will give the name here test contact one. And we will select the default campaign and default profile. And as we discuss, it is necessary to assign user in order to sync the data. Now I have assigned it to my user. And I will simply click on create prospect. So now the expected behavior is it is not going to create the lead record in Salesforce. Perhaps there is an existing contact record with which it should get mapped automatically. So here you can see view in CRM button. 
So if I click on view and CRM, it should open the contact record, not the lead record. And this is what contact we created with the same email ID that we have. So if you go back to the slide, so here you can see prospect is created in Pardot and it has checked for the existing contact record having same email address and as we already created contact record so it is mapped or synced with that contact record now if there is no contact or no matching contact found then it checks for the existing email id in the lead and it will sync with that lead so let's look on to the this scenario So what we will do here, again, we will go to the lead object and we will create one new lead and we will give the name test lead one and company, I will use it FXRs and I will give test lead one at the rate FXRs.com and just fill the mandatory fields and simply click on save. Okay, it was a duplicate. So I will simply just edit the email ID and put one, two, three, and we can simply click on save. Now I will jump back to the par dot again. I'll go to prospects. and we'll add new prospect here and just for the testing purpose we have to make sure we are using the unique email id whatever we have used in the crm for the lead record then select the default profile and campaign and i will assign it to my user at at, at this mandatory stage in order to sync the record with crm and i will simply click on create prospect So right after creating the prospect, here you can see view in CRM button. And if I click on view in CRM, it will suppose to open the lead record, which we created. And it is not going to create the another lead record. As in the flow we discussed, if there is an existing lead with the same email address, then it is going to map with that lead and it is not going to create uh, any new record or not going to map with any existing contact record as well. So let's jump onto the slide again. So now in the test lead which we created, it came to this stage and it looked for the existing contact, but no existing contact was found. Hence, it went to the no loop. Similarly, it checked for the existing lead records having a same email address or not and we found there is an existing lead record which we created manually and that is a reason it is getting synced with the existing lead record and not going to create the new lead record now let's assume there is no existing lead record and even no existing contact records so in that point of time it is going to create the new lead record into the salesforce so this was the very first scenario while creating the prospect we see right after creating the prospect into the par dot it directly gets synced as a lead in crm so this is how the par dot flow works so that was all about data sync between salesforce and par dot thank you so much for joining the session and hope the session was helpful Thank you so much Apex has for organizing this Pardot series and feel free to connect us over the mentioned handles. Thank you.